Hi, I'm George, and uh, uh, this is some of the work that I've gotten done today. Um, a lot of it has uh, unfortunately fallen to Unreal crashes, which I am becoming much more familiar with. Um, I remember them back when I was messing around with the original Unreal Ed, you know, what is it, 10, 9 years ago? And uh, they're back, and but I, I must say, the fact that I can edit brushes in here, use subtractive and additive geometry, uh, the fact that I can just use additive geometry, um, you know, outside of subtractive, you know, the entire world being additive is very, very nice. But uh, today was just uh, the beginning of l relearning all the tools and trying to understand them so that when I do jump into this level uh, and I begin putting it all together, I don't have to waste time relearning principles. So, um, like I said, just relearning uh, what BSP brushes are, uh, how to uh, edit them in geometry mode, um, all the little quirks that the engine has, uh, and then of course um, just just beginning to use Kismet and Matinee in in what I hope to be an intuitive and, and fun kind of way. So anyway, um, as you can see here, it's just you know just three sort of different corridors here, and the idea would be that they would be separated by these these uh, well what were static meshes, um, and by moving through a volume or in a volume or out of a volume, whatever the trigger ends up being, uh, they would raise or lower to show the other players you know also running through the corridors, and then you get some nice firefights and some sort of spontaneity, spontaneity, and some um, some some dynamic changes in the level. Other that uh, because most of the time, at least in the Unreal levels that I played, uh, they're interesting. You know, you have things where sandstorms are coming and whatnot. But besides that, uh, and some some effects here and there, the levels seemed very dull. Um, I mean the graphics are great and everything, but you know, the game's so fast paced that I'm not gonna stand there. Otherwise I'm gonna get my you know, my head blown away. But anyway, um so today was mostly learning the basics again and uh a couple really nitpicky things. Um for anyone else out there who's listening to this and, and needs to uh do similar things. One is that there apparently are no longer sky boxes in Unreal uh, Editor three. And there are a ton of tutorials on the internet. Um ones that of course aren't on 3D Buzz, but other places I've been looking at stuff, that like to list their tutorials as Unreal Editor 3, when in fact they're Unreal two uh, Tournament 2003 tutorials, which means you're using the old version of the editor. That stuff uh, really made me mad because I spent about an hour on four tutorials that were just wrong about skyboxes, and I, I went in, made my skybox, skybox, threw it all together, and you know this stuff takes time when you're first learning it. So I mean, I threw away plenty of time on something that simply would not work. And then of course I went to the forums, looked it up. Someone kindly explained that static meshes uh, were what you use now. And I took a look through the through all the different packages available, and I found one called UN Sky right here. And I just threw in a star field in the background so that I don't have that uh, mirror effect where. Um, the Hall of Mirrors effect, where I don't get a redraw on any of the areas that are uh, shown outside of the uh, BSP surfaces, I suppose. But anyway, uh, so I learned you know, how to use st static meshes now for uh, an immersive environment that surrounds what you're doing. Um, I also, you know, uh, started to learn Kismet and Matinee f to make these moving these moving parts, um, and that took a while, simply because. I could not find an easy way, I could not find an easy uh, search, you know, entry or whatnot that would just say, how do you make movable things inside of Unreal Ed 3? And unfortunately, every time I typed in Unreal Ed 3, I'd get Unreal 2003 tutorials, uh, which kind of sucked. But, um, but I had to learn, because you know, I believe in the first Unreal, you use brushes uh, as movers and stuff, and if I remember correctly, they were sort of invisible in the actual editor. Or I, I can't quite remember. I really didn't mess with them that much. I, I, I do not profess to be a know-it-all in, in terms of this thing. But, um, so, I mean, I, I was searching through through the, uh, the special brushes. You know, I tried dynamic physics volume, dynamic blocking volume, uh, a few other things here and there. Um, 
I tried static meshes, but of course I kept getting errors inside of, let's see, let's go to it, inside of matinee saying you cannot animate this thing with my movement stuff. You know, it's a static mesh, hence, you know, static, you can't mess with it. But uh, luckily, one of the videos on the 3D Buzz website, uh, actually I think it's the second video that begins to, exp no, wait, actually it's probably the third one. It's the one where you have the light mov moving across the different, um, columns and it you know dynamically lights the scene and everything looks really great and it's the Robo Blitz tutorial and uh, that one you know about halfway if not 75 percent of the way Zach you know shows us of course uh, that using static lights are, are not what you want to do and you have to right click and utilize a different sort of uh, static mesh which is some sort of like an interpolation uh, actor or something like that uh, and you know after quite a while of trying to figure this out and get it to work you know it was right there you know, easy to understand so I uh, whoops let's, uh, let's take that back where it needs to go yeah control and do it's kinda slow but um anyway so uh, I just set up a really simple kismet sequence you know with the trigger vault with the trigger uh, right here you know and once again all this stuff was explained in several different tutorials here and there across the website so you know I just have my um, my trigger volume, you go into it, touch it, matinee sound, says, hey, play it. Uh, when it completes, I just have it reversed so that it's just not stuck there in the middle of the floor. And then if we just open up matinee, uh, just simple two keyframes uh, for the for this segment. Um, and, and that's it. So if we just hit run and we actually play this real quick, you know, it's just very simple. My frame rate's going to stink simply because my computer is is on its last leg. Uh, I had huge problems with it. It takes about two minutes now to load up in the beginning. Uh, major heating issues, and we have a heat wave this this um, actually for probably the next week here in New Jersey. So nothing's looking too good. And uh, there we go. So we just move into the volume area. We can keep moving in. And of course, I have not resolved the fact that you can keep doing it over and over and over again. But once again, it's a very simple kismet sequence uh, with matinee. So there's nothing too difficult there. So uh, the eventual idea is to have a lot of these going down the, the hallway and, um, of course, adding maybe some sort of a cool way, a very interesting animation where they sort of fold out or fold in, you know. I put drawings of, like, teeth, but maybe if there was teeth, they, like, shoot out from one another or I don't know, something. We'll see what happens. But uh, that's pretty much all I've gotten done so far. Uh, hopefully I will uh, spend another day or so just learning these basic, um, the very basic stuff and just just getting some time in the actual Unreal Editor because there's a lot of little things that really piss me off about it but then there are a lot of things that are really great about it too uh, I don't think it would be this easy to do to make anything like this anywhere else well except maybe a few other editors but um uh, it, it's it's nice so that's pretty much all I'm probably going to begin actually designing the the level next week uh, probably between Monday and Friday alright later bye